Welcome back to We The People News. Please subscribe, leave your thumbs up, and please leave your comments. First of all, I want to say thank you so much for all the support that you give me on this channel. I really do appreciate you for that. Thank you so much. Bitcoin, WhatsApp, cryptocurrency of any kind that you see in my comments with a picture of me and a variation of my name, please know that that garbage is not me. If you do not see the little check mark beside my name, it is not me. Yesterday's video, if you did not see it, I will link it to the end of this one. Please go back and watch it. There's a lot of good stuff in there I don't want you to miss, and it would help me out a lot on YouTube. Thank you so much. Today I'm going to be breaking down the State of the Union address last night. Now, I've got so many notes here from that State of the Union address. It may take two videos. We'll just see how it goes. Uh, but if it does take two videos, the second part will be tomorrow. Okay, let's get into this. Y'all, little Joe is still talking a lot about having things made in America. How great it would be to have things made in America. And I agree with him 100% there. It would be great. But wouldn't it also be great to have our crude oil pumped out of America's soil? So, why did he close down the pipeline? Uh, we could take care of our own oil needs and other people's oil needs, creating income for our country. If he would just left things alone. But no, he couldn't do that. Little Joe is such a He's just like a kid. He wants to take everything apart and see what it's made of. When everything was good the way Donald Trump left it. Okay. In Little Joe's State of the Union address, I've got so many bullet points here I want to talk about. First, the Wicked Witch of D.C., Y'all, the Wicked Witch of D.C., y'all know who I'm talking about, Nancy Pelosi. This time, I didn't see her destroy any official government documents on the podium. I believe the last time when she done that, she should have went to prison for that because that was official government documents. But, of course, they swept it under the rug. Did y'all see all the masks that was being worn? I didn't. Uh, did you see the social distancing? I didn't. But yet, they expect us to do it. You follow by example. You don't dictate to people what they must do, and then you do the opposite. You follow by example. Did y'all notice how many few people was in attendance? Normally, it's standing room only. They're elbow to elbow, standing room only. And they even commented on this during the pre-show. I guess people just did not care to hear what little Joe had to lie about, so they didn't go. He started out by thinking, by talking about the Ukraine, how brave these people are for standing up to Russia. And yes, I agree a thousand percent on that. These people. They're small in number, but they're huge in statue and integrity. I would really like to, well, I wouldn't like to see. Uh, I would wonder what would he do in the same situation. Their president is actually in combat gear with an assault rifle. He's ready to fight alongside his countrymen if he needs to. And it's not only their president. All of their lawmakers are doing it. All of their 
sports figures, all of their movie stars are doing it. What would happen here? Then he had the nerve to talk about dictators, calling other people a dictator. Well, he should know all about dictators because he is one. So how can he, how can he have the nerve to call somebody else a dictator when he's the biggest one we know? Lil Joe also said that he's always promised us that he would be honest with us. So, little Joe, what happened to that? Why aren't you being honest with us? You hadn't been honest with us since day one. All you can do is lie. But let me ask you this, little Joe. Are you lying? Or is that dementia got you so badly by now that you don't know you're lying? You think you're telling the truth. You think you're being honest. You are nothing but a bag of lies, Joe Biden. He said that he grew 6.5 million jobs the last year. We had the biggest resurgence of jobs during the last year. Of course we did, because everything was closed. Everybody lost their jobs. This is people coming back to the workforce. It's nothing that he did, but of course, he will take the credit for it. He will take credit at every opportune moment he can. But he had absolutely nothing to do with the job growth. This is just people wanting to go back to work. And I may have to add that there's an awful lot more people that needs to go back to work if they wasn't too damn lazy. He said, our infrastructure ranks at the 13th position in the world. Little Joe, that part of the bill has been passed. The money is there. So if we're so bad with our infrastructure, and we are, I agree, we're number 13 in the world. The money is there. It's been passed. Why ain't these things been fixed? The bridge that collapsed, uh, what was it, last month? That bridge was so bad it collapsed. It wasn't even on the list to be fixed. Find out what you're talking about, little Joe, before you open your old rattled mouth. He said his top priority is getting prices under control. But is that really true? It looks like everything he's doing is making prices go up. He closed our pipeline, made prices go up. He's mandating these truckers to have to get the jab in the arm and wear the mask so they're not going to work and I don't blame them they're standing up for what they believe but that's making prices on everything go up little Joe don't have a clue about what he's doing and oh my god then he started talking again about nobody that makes under 400,000 a year will pay a penny more in taxes. We all know that's a lie. I mean, was that just something he remembered from his campaign promises that he wanted to bring up to sound good? I mean, because we know that is just a blatant lie. And it seemed like all he wanted to do, and Nancy Pelosi was enjoying it, Chuck Schumer couldn't wait to get up out of his seat to applaud. But it seemed like all he wanted to do was blame Donald Trump for everything that's happening right now. Joe Biden, a little secret. Donald Trump is not our president. You are. Donald Trump has nothing to do with what's happening today. This all lands on your shoulders. You took that position. You took that responsibility. Now do something about it. Do your job. Y'all, this is going to be a two-part video. But uh, y'all, please sound off in the comments below what you think about 
what happened with the State of the Union address. I got a lot more to say. Y'all, please don't miss tomorrow's video. Uh, and yes, I do give Joe credit on a lot of things on tomorrow's video. So it's not all to bash Joe Biden. I could make tons of videos doing that, and I have in the past, but I'm being fair. Y'all, please keep your faith in Jesus Christ. He will get us through all of this. Say a prayer for our world. Say a prayer for our country. Say a prayer for our leaders, even though we got leaders like little Joe that's not doing a damn thing. Say a prayer for everyone around the world that's hurting through COVID, financial hardship, or any other affliction. And just know I love you all. Until tomorrow. Ciao.